one particular horse called Nugget he embraces. The animal digs its sweaty brow into his cheek and they stand in the dark for an hour like a necking couple. And of all nonsensical things, I keep thinking about the horse, not the boy, the horse, and what it may be trying to do. I keep seeing that huge head kissing him with its chain mouth, nudging through the metal some desire absolutely irrelevant to filling its belly or propagating its own kind. What desire could that be? Not to stay a horse any longer, not to remain chained up forever in its own particular genetic strings. Is it possible? At certain moments we cannot imagine a horse can add its sufferings together. The non-stop jerks and jabs that are its daily life and turn them into grief. What use is grief to a horse? What use I should be asking of questions like these to an overworked psychiatrist in a provincial hospital? They're worse than useless. They are in fact subversive. The thing is, I'm desperate. You see, I'm wearing that horse's head myself. That's the feeling. All reined up in old language and old assumptions, straining to jump clean-hooved over a whole new track of being I only suspect is there. I can't see it because my educated average head is being held at the wrong angle. I can't jump because the bit forbids it and my own basic force, my horse part, if you like, is too little. The only thing I know for sure is this. A horse's head is finally unknowable to me. Yet I, I handle children's heads, which I must presume to be more complicated, at least in the area of my chief concern. You see, in a way, it has nothing to do with this boy. The doubts have been there for years, piling up steadily in this dreary place. It's only the extremity of this case that's made them active. I know that. The extremity is the point, all the same. Whatever the reason they are now, these doubts, not just vaguely worrying, but intolerable. Forgive me. I'm not making much sense. Let me start properly, in order. It all began one Monday last month with Hester's visit. See, in a way, I blame Hester. She brought him to me. But of course, that's nonsense. What is he but a last straw, a last symbol? If it hadn't been him, it would have been the next patient or the next. At least I suppose so. Welcome to the torture chamber. Mm -hmm.